Democrat colleague, Mr. DeFazio from Oregon, who was part of writing this law. He said, Peter, you remember that, right? He said, yeah, I didn't like it, but that was the case. BLM still wouldn't listen. Okay, so we don't have time for that full clip, but what you could hear is that uh, he's t- saying to his colleague, says, you remember, they were going to pay for the fence, but now they're just ignoring that. That's his right. frustration, and he goes on for quite some time talking about what he went through to try to get them to obey the law that he wrote. Okay, right. and that's the furious thing about it is that they will not obey the law. Who they will the not obey here? the Constitution. Mm-hmm. They're there to essentially set up a complete control of people. When you understand that it's not just gun control, okay, it's land control, it's internet control, it's transportation control, it's health care control, and they're doing all of this by exceeding their authority. That's the real key to all of this. And that's what we have to take away from this, is that this isn't something that just affects these people in this area. Right. It's very frustrating for this congressman. He got to tears at one point in talking about yeah, this. You can see his that's passion. the background. We need to understand they're coming for all of these things if we don't understand what's behind this. Absolutely, and people need to open up their hearts and have a little bit more compassion even if they don't understand what's going yes. on there. In Oregon. Well, thank you, David, so much. Now stick around. We'll have more nightly news right after this. Brain force is here. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been on this the last few months. You probably noticed I've been more crazed, more focused, less brain fog, more energy, more special reports, and it's because of brain force. One of the worst things with most energy products is it's not sustainable, right? You're going to crash and going to feel really bad afterwards. This has a bunch of different antioxidants and compounds and polyphenols. Everybody's on these drugs to knock their brain out because the brain's so fried. We kept changing this formula over and over and over again until it became sort of a grand puzzle. For example, the L-theanine inside of it, that is activated by the different compounds in the yerba mate that we put inside of it as well. This just increases the compounds you already have. This is what you're actually designed to run on. Exactly. It's kind of like a car will run on one form of junkie gas, but it runs really good on what it's designed for. You will find Brain Force, Survival Shield X2, and other game-changing products at InfoWarsLife.com. Or call 888-253-3139. Introducing Secret 12, the new InfoWars Life vitamin B12 formulation. Most forms of vitamin B12 are highly processed and synthetic and could not be properly absorbed by the body. That's why for real results, so many are having to turn to painful B12 injections, which are known to have higher absorption rates. Now, InfoWarsLife.com is excited to announce that we can bring you our most bioactive, powerful form of B12 that has been developed with our exclusive perfected process. Secret 12 is a binary of nutramedical grade, bioavailable coenzyme forms of B12, methylcobalamin, the same kind used in B12 injections, and adenosyl cobalamin. Secret 12 is simply taken by mouth, right on the tongue, and then swallowed. No needles, no injections. Don't take my word for it. Try it for yourself. Discover the secret. Secret 12. Secure your revolutionary Secret 12 formula right now at InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. I'm talking to people in government. They're really waking up. Military's waking up. Police are waking up. A lot of the citizens are waking up. And the system is going to want to run a false flag, in my view, or provocateur us into a shooting war. That's why this isn't the time, I believe, for civil disobedience like what we see. People can do it, but I have my opinion that they don't have all the locals supporting them. They don't have the Hammonds supporting them. You've got obvious provocateur uh, action going on the same old players i think the bundies are good people but that's another reason that it isn't their ranch they've been on for 140 years it isn't where they've run everybody out but the last family it isn't with the fed saying we're going to shoot you you come get your cattle and then people cross the line in defiance that was incredibly powerful a george washington moment in my view but also extremely dangerous and shook harry reed he was shaking when he called him terrorist then the enemy is going to want to trick people like that with their incredibly good name into things that are strategic disasters. Now, I'm not going to spend more than five minutes on this, but Joel Scouts, who I really respect, uh, former Marine Corps fighter pilot, Vietnam, best-selling author, researcher, uh, obviously World Affairs Brief.com uh, editor, 
uh, I learned that he basically had some of the same views as I did. And I know a lot of people are listening to this now because it's really a no-brainer with the timing of the Obama gun grab and the projection they now have of, you know, arm takeover and all this. Their cause is just, I believe, overall. But it's the optics. And uh, the, the globalists are just having glee with this now, saying, see, domestic terrorist, y'all Qaeda. Then we'll get into the impeachment. We'll get into Russia. We'll get into everything else with Joel Skousen, worldaffairsbrief.com. Joel, thank you so much for joining us. You just heard my five-minute breakdown there. Do you agree with that? Disagree? What can you augment? What can you say uh, about the situation uh, unfolding there in Oregon? Well, I do agree with you, Alex. I think it's very important to understand the feds are about to make an example of the Bundy Group there uh, in Harney County. And so... Uh, as I say, I'm going to, I want to suggest, and I think and hopefully that they'll be seeing this, I want to suggest a way out of this that I think will benefit both sides. Now, I happen to know Ammon Bundy. He's a very fine person. Um, I think it was a misstep to be able to go into an armed uh, occupation of this uh, wild road refuge just because of, just like you said, it's one thing to be defending your own property against an armed intrusion by the BLM. That can get public support. But when you're trying to undo a national wildlife refuge, uh, which is a matter of legislative uh, uh, import and, you know, needs and the public expects that to go through Congress, you're not going to win that battle. And now I've seen on BundyRanch.blogspot.com the detailed evidence of all of the injustices the ranchers, not just the Hammonds, had suffered when the wildlife, uh, Fish and Wildlife Service and BLM went to strangle these ranchers, cut off their water supplies, uh, cut off their access to the ranch when roads ran through the wildlife refuge, they have a, a, a long- Setting them up for controlled burns, they let everybody else do. That's right, and didn't prosecute themselves, their own agents for damaging property, but prosecute people when it gets out of control. Worse yet, in the Hammonds case, they, uh, they had to, in order to invoke the terrorism statute, they had to rule these accidental burns as arson. And in order to do that, they got a mentally unstable grandson of the Hammonds to, and I think this is just the prosecutors going after uh, um, an individual who was only 11 years old at the time, got him to say that the burning of the 2006 fire was done as an arson to cover up for a hunting or hunting deer on federal land. This is important because it's the only one they could pin the charge of arson on. It turns out to be bogus. Uh, not only was the witness, even by the judge's admission, not competent to testify of that five years after the fact, he wasn't mentally competent. The point is it defies all description. I mean, the only thing you need to cover up a hunting uh, piece of poaching on federal property is remove the carcass, which every poacher does. You can't burn a carcass by starting a fire. You can't even burn the entrails. By it's it's a ridiculous fire. for anybody that knows. It's like saying that the Dundies were stealing land when they had grazing rights since the 1870s. They play on the public's ignorance uh, of uh, common law and of state law and federal law. So there are a lot of injustices that have justified the Bundys who have been tracking all of the other ranchers who have suffered at this. And so basically, they made a tactical mistake by saying we want to undo the wildlife refuge. That can't be done. So what I suggest that Ammon does is before any armed confrontation, before they seal off and start a siege, that he take the high ground, take advantage of the fact that the media has already given some fairly favorable press coverage to the fact that there's no crazies running around. They're cleaning up the place. They're taking care of it. They're not uh, ramsacking it. In other words, there's been some positive press coverage, even from the liberal media in Oregon. They had to take advantage of that, say, we're going to stand down voluntarily because, one, we've already got a sufficient amount of positive press for the land, uh, Western lands movement here. And number two, that it's very important to realize that, uh, that ranchers have been and their rights have been violated. And what they need to say is we want to demand a rancher's bill of rights be created in Congress. This is similar to the Pilots' Bill of Rights when the FAA was running roughshod over pilots and had control of the, of the judicial machinery that prosecuted pilots. And they, they forced, con through Congress, they forced the FAA to set up a, a standard of due process. And I think that's what ranchers need so that water rights cannot be uh, taken away, that grazing rights cannot be diminished arbitrarily by the BLM. 
if they were to come out with a proposal like this saying, this is what we want, and then stand down, they would have the high ground. People would say, yeah, they're not a bunch of crazies. This would accrue to their benefit. Well, Joel, this is exactly what I said days ago, and, and I'm sure we both independently came up with the same idea because it's just common sense. Exactly. I like the Bundys. They're walking into a trap, and then instantly I come out Sunday and I say, look out for federal infiltrators. I mean, they're going to show up like flies on you-know-what. And be careful about people calling for violence. Look out. The Bundys are good people. I understand the government's in the wrong. They're the ones running around arms seizing things. Under the Declaration of Independence, I get that you could say they're in the right. But this is stepping into a trap in my informed uh, view. I mean, I've shown I'm not stupid either. Uh, it's common sense, really. And then sure enough, Joe Biggs gets there Monday. And prominent people that are running things uh, run up and yell at him. How dare you say we're feds by name and the Bundys are feds? And then he said, we never said that. Alex never said that. They go, well, it doesn't matter. You know, blah. With people in there telling them lies to then cut them off from people that would support them. This is classic that I've seen in 21 years, dealing with militias, dealing with standoffs, being inside standoffs, trying to negotiate an end to them, uh, like the case with the Gray case. And then the feds come in, tell them bull, uh, and then it comes out it was feds doing it. I, I mean, it's, it's just crazy. And, and we have evidence already that I don't even want to give attention to because it just adds to the whole thing, uh, you know, from who, who the FBI was there with, who they're running. I mean, we have it all. And it's just so, I mean, on video. And it's just so terrible. And then once people have been told you're talking bad about them, in, in, in this weird fake kinship thing the federal handles handlers will engage in, these are expert psychological warfare people, then even though it's not true that I didn't talk about about the Bundys, it doesn't matter because now we better not talk to Alex because he doesn't like us. When I like him, I'm here talking to him like a straight man does. You know, just straight to him, straight talk, straight shooting. I'm, I, I just, it's just so sad that the liberty movement is not more sophisticated, Joel. Well, you know, there's no, I, I completely agree. Uh, anyone who's in a situation like uh, Ammon Bundy and his group has got to realize that when you have an open invitation for everybody to come and join us, you're going to have federal agent provocateurs coming in there. And one of those people is probably going to take a pot shot at law enforcement if they get nearby. And then law enforcement will have an example to start shooting. So it's very important to stand down while this thing is peaceful, while you've got the high ground, Ammon, so that you can continue. And I would say to state the, the tough um, position they're taking that in the future, we will come to the defense of any rancher who is being persecuted by the BLM. And, and, but we'll do it in a peaceful manner. We will be armed, but we will come there to keep these kinds of people from being railroaded into prison as the Hammonds were. I'm, it's unfortunate the Hammonds succumbed to the, the latest threats. They really were put through the ringer in a very phony court uh, situation where there was jury tampering, where there's threats, uh, and the, the poor judge tried to savage his conscience. I know he was under pressure by the feds to throw this terrorism statute. He, he tried to give less than the minimum sentence and then got overturned. Uh, I think he's rolling uh, in his retirement uh, from sadness of what he did, but that's what happens in judges. There's so many controlled judges who are afraid to stand up to the federal government. Well, that's it for the show tonight. We will see you guys here again tomorrow at 7 p.m. Central. Knockout is back. If you want a product that has 10 known ingredients that naturally get your body to relax, your brain to relax, so you get deep, restful sleep, knockout's it. InfoWarsLife.com. L-theanine. Hops flower extract, lemon balm extract, valerian root extract, chamomile flower extract, L-tryptophan extract, melatonin, and more. All organic, all the natural sources. It's the same price as leading brands of melatonin that are three milligrams a piece. It has three milligram, the standard recommended dose for an adult. It's got the GABA. So it would probably cost $50 to take all this as separate pills. It's $19.95. You take one or two of these, and it just is really clean, restful sleep is what the reviews are. It's what I've experienced.
and it just synergistically puts everything in there. InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Or call 888-253-3139. You are watching the InfoWars Nightly News, which airs 7 p.m. Central at InfoWarsNews.com. And your support is helping us defend liberty worldwide.